Logan. Again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do you want from me? This is what we do every time. Maybe just <laughs> give it a second. <laughs> Logan Lucky. Logan Lucky. Uh, first time I've seen this. Same. I didn't see it when it came out. I miss a lot of movies because they don't come through. And, yeah. uh, I kind of just forget about them, but I was really happy to have been reminded of this movie over on Twitter. Yeah, this is uh this was a good movie. I was, I was surprised. Well, not like surprised, but I was pleased. Mm. Um, I mean, I'd heard it was good. I just hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. Why don't you run through the plot? Oh, I will do what I can, but to be honest, the ending threw me a little bit. All right. Well, uh, when we get to that point, I'll help you out. Okay. So this takes place in, was it Tennessee? No. Or North, South, no. I don't South, even know. South Carolina, I think. West Virginia. Was it West Virginia? I don't remember. I think it was South Carolina. It could be. North Carolina. Uh, I don't, that's way wrong. Uh, okay, Carolina? so Channing, because on IMDb it says two brothers attempt to pull off a high star NASCAR race in North Carolina. So West Virginia, got it. <laughs> uh, Channing Tatum works for a construction company. Uh, he gets uh, okay. He's already hurt. Yeah, so he's got a he's got a bad leg, mm-hmm. a bum knee, and sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so he gets laid off from his job. He has an ex-wife with a daughter. They have, he has a daughter he, with his ex-wife. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, you know what? Do you want to do this? Yeah. Do you want me to? Okay, go for it, because I'm not good at explaining movies. All right. Channing Tatum and Adam Driver are brothers. They live in North Carolina. Uh, Adam Driver is back from Iraq where he lost an arm. Channing Tatum... As he was leaving Iraq. Yeah, he was getting on the plane and the plane door closed on it, I believe. I, I don't I don't think they ever explained it, but that was kind of the impression I was left with. Yeah. Uh, Channing Tatum's got a bum knee from playing high school. Playing high school. Playing football <laughs> in high school. And uh, he's working in a mine and gets laid off because they see, oh, he's got a bad knee. It's a pre-existing condition. He's a insurance risk. The insurance company won't insure us because we. Yeah. He, he's already he's a liability. Trouble. Yeah, he's a liability. So they <laughs> Channing Tatum gets in a fight with some guys at a bar, or at Adam Driver's bar, mm-hmm. with a guy who's picking on his brother because his brother was missing an arm, and uh, they basically win. Adam Driver sets their car on fire and yeah. Channing Tatum walks away and says cauliflower. And Adam Driver's like, did you say cauliflower to me? And <laughs> did, you, did you say cauliflower? <laughs> it turns out cauliflower means we're doing crime. It's like a magic word they have between each other. I don't think they ever yeah. establish why it's that way. but No, I don't think so. That with one of them says it to the other, that means we're gonna do some crimes. <laughs> we, we do steals. Which uh, I really enjoyed the character building they did between the two brothers, because they make them seem very. Uh, the movie calls them simple. It's not really. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever called anyone simple in my life. I go. I call you simple often. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just just when I'm talking to your parents. But uh, I feel like it's a good description of them. Like, they don't seem dumb. They just seem... Basic. Yeah, simple. Like, yeah. it's a good word. Um, but Channing Tatum, so he's laid off, and he comes up with this plan to rob a uh, a racetrack. Because he finds when he's working for the mine, who is repairing broken pipes for the, the, the racetrack, they find the chutes for the money. So from the convenience, no, not convenience. What do you call those? The uh, concession. Concession stands. They put the money in a little tube and it sends it off straight to the bank vault. That way no one has to walk around with money in the stadium, mm-hmm. which is a, 
makes sense and is probably somewhat accurate, I would imagine, right? I was, I, I don't know. I've, I've never heard of that. So I was wondering how true that really was. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like either way, no one's doing it anymore because they keep getting robbed. <laughs> After this movie, you mean? Yeah. Um, so Channing Tatum comes up with this plan that they can steal the money from the tubes and not get caught, but they need to, to get, uh, Daniel Craig to help, but he is in prison. And he has at least six more months on his prison sentence. Yeah. And, uh, they devise this plan, which I, it's basically redneck oceans 11, right? Yeah. Didn't they even say it's like ocean seven 11? Did they say that? Yeah. On the news. Right? Yeah. The, the, yeah. Are you eating something? I'm eating some popcorn. What is the problem? <laughs> Why are you eating popcorn right now? The problem is, here. is you found it like this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, it's gone. All right. Well, hold on. <laughs> now it's gone. All right. Uh, so they're Ocean 7-Eleven, and Channing Tatum is the ringleader. Adam Driver is kind of reluctant, but he's... <laughs> he, uh, he says... So when uh, Channing Tatum gives him the plan originally... He's like, you know, I haven't done crime since we were 13, and uh, I got sent away for six months to juvie. He's like, but you did make breakfast, and you cooked the bacon just how I liked it. So <laughs> He's like, you burned it how I like it. <laughs> I- I'll take a moment to listen to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just, I love their interaction the, between the two yeah, of them. It was, it, was, it was really funny. It wasn't like over the top comical no no it was just little 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 things yeah <laughs> and uh like again this is not a word i would ever really de- use to describe someone but they, it was like they were sweet to each other do you know what i mean like yeah mm-hmm. they they played good brothers yeah like they're, southern brothers they're believable too which I, if yeah. you told me channing tatum and adam driver were going to be brothers in a movie i'd be like that's a weird choice it doesn't Magic Mike and Kylo Ren in a movie <laughs> with James Bond. <laughs> um, so they, they devise a plan that, and, th- and this was great. This is another thing, uh, Ren from Ren's Reviews had mentioned on Twitter about the shot when Adam Driver just plows into the window, uh, yeah. at the convenience store. And I believe that was all one take. Oh, really? Like one shot. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty impressive. They could have right. could have easily uh, crashed the car, cut the film, not move the camera, get him inside, then step out. Like that yeah. probably wouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, but whatever they did, it looked really, really good. Yeah, no, it was it was definitely a well shot movie, and it was a funny moment because he gets out of the car and instead of acting like it was an accident, he goes to buy chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But it turns out that he gets himself imprisoned all for the purpose of breaking Daniel Craig yeah. out. Yeah. And uh, they build these little boxes that fit underneath the uh, prison transport cars. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they escape that way. So they, they're they able to convince uh, some of the inmates to start a riot, yeah. you know, to get mm-hmm. on lockdown and everything. And I, and this was probably my favorite scene, yeah, this is pretty or fun. one of my favorite scenes. Are you talking about the Game of Thrones part? Well, you were talking about that. that. Was, I was just... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> so the, the inmates, right, they're not really rioting. They're just doing, you know... Well, they beat up the guards and tie them up. Right, so they're they're locked in one area, and the warden and his his uh, his other COs are in another, and they're they're making up this fake list of demands, you know, of stuff that they want to end the riot. And one of them is they want the what? the newest Game of Thrones book. Yeah, I don't right. think it was a fake list. I think that was what they wanted. Well, okay, I don't think that they were actually planning on getting these things, though, were they? I think so. I mean, they've started a riot. They're going to get in trouble for it anyways. That's true. So they want the newest Game of Thrones book, Dance with Dragons, and then they want they want the two that are supposed to come after that. Yeah. 
And so just the, the conversation between the warden and the, <laughs> the, the inmate talking about why George R. R. Martin hasn't finished the books and all this. It's, it's, it's really funny, but I think it's, it almost felt like, uh, cause who was the director of this? Uh, Steven Soderberg? Soderberg? Yeah. It's almost like he was really kind of upset with George R. R. Martin and this was him like <laughs> poking at him, vent, vent, venting about it <laughs> because it, it's, if you don't know, anything about like the game of thrones books and like the process that they've gone through and this and that like it's probably not really that funny yeah but but knowing the situation behind it and the, all the delays and then the show catching up and doing its own thing yeah. this and that it's it's I don't know, it's just a really it was my favorite scene well he it was really funny he there they think that the co or the uh the warden is lying to him they're like, yeah. He was supposed to come out with it two years ago. He's like, two years ago. And he's like, he's I, like I'm looking here at the Wikipedia page. This is what it says. <laughs> and then he, the guy's like, well, those other inmates who came through for two weeks were telling us all this stuff that we don't know about. So clearly you're lying. He's like, that was from the TV show. The TV show has passed the books and <laughs> they get all mad and then they block out the windows and stuff. It's, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It was, it was really funny. And, I like that part. But. Like that's the thing about moments like that that work so well is they feel uh-huh. like real life, right? Like the yeah, like how I, I just like how the warden like felt like he could have just said, "I'm not like no, yeah. you know," but he felt the need to like explain exactly why they weren't getting these books and you know what happened and why it broke down yeah. and all the delays and uh, just really funny, kind of like. It reminds me of when Daniel Craig was making the the explosion, uh-huh. and then he like stopped to break down the chemistry for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, before we get to that, though, I, the one more point I wanted to make about the the warden and the the inmates is, uh-huh. you know, when you work in a job somewhere, like I do, <laughs> like say when you worked at uh, Albertsons, right? And I, I worked at Vons. Things yeah. become so important inside that little world between you and your coworkers that mean nothing to anyone else outside of that. But you're, you're willing to, to fight with people, to like hate people, to get angry over stupid little things, right? That are yeah. not important to anyone else outside of that microcosm, whatever. Yeah. It's like, it's a little ecosystem. Yeah. Right? And that's, that's what's so believable about the prisoners wanting the new game of Thrones books and being willing to fight with the warden about it. Cause it's like, yeah. that's their world. That's what they have. And so it feels legitimate. And then the warden treating it like it's a legitimate thing. Well, yeah, like, yeah, not just blowing it off or whatever. Yeah. It makes it, it just makes it work so well. Yeah. Even though it's so it ridiculous. Was, yeah. It's something so small. It feels important to the characters. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was really funny. But so yeah, they they break Daniel Craig out. They get him into the mine, and uh, his two brothers are helping him. He they roped in Daniel Craig's two brothers. So now there's five of them. And yeah. uh, Daniel Craig needed a bleach pin and gummy bears, and he mixes them all up in a bag. And uh, Channing Tatum and Adam Driver are like, "What? Well, that's going to be the explosion?" And he's like, you he's said, like, he's like, what? He's like, what you think I was going to use a stick of dynamite? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> he, kind of. He's like, I, you said I couldn't bring anything in. We had to use just normal supplies. And then like you were saying, he breaks down the chemistry on the wall and like telling them exactly why it's going to work and all this stuff. Yeah. They put it in the thing. It gets jammed and shoots back and Adam Driver catches it. <laughs> which I thought that was funny. I thought, yeah, it, was, it made me laugh. <laughs> and uh and the, it's like a super tense moment and he's like slowly walking over to it and then he un, un uh unscrews the cap he's like oh yeah never mind and then he's <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like, i did it too tight <laughs> daniel craig is also great in this oh he was really funny they yeah. everybody feels like uh an actual person you know what i mean like other than hillary swank hillary swank i was gonna say hillary swank is the, the person i had a problem with. yeah she did not fit and uh not at all i don't know that her accent was terrible and her it was awful her mannerisms were really bad 
Her accent belonged in the week of and not Logan Lucky. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to talk about the week of until we have to talk about oh, the week of. It's coming. Oh man. Uh, so, but yeah, so they they the gummy bears work. They end up blowing up the tube just enough to where when they hook a hose up to it, they're able to suck out all the money. Yeah. And uh, then it that's when the movie kind of it seems like everything's falling apart, but at the end we find out that it all fell apart. On purpose. Right. Um, I really liked, and I, I don't remember exactly at what point it took place, if it was before or after this, but when uh, Daniel Craig's brothers are making their own bomb uh -huh. and they're following the that list of instructions, it's like, okay, so we do this oh, yeah. and mix this one, this one, and then run. It's like, oh, and <laughs> <laughs> they have to take off running and just before the whole thing explodes. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that bomb, I thought that was a pretty genius thing to add because that, that first bomb disabled their ability to use the credit card machines, which means yes. everyone was having to use cash, cash which means there was more cash in the vault. Yeah. Uh, oh, it was genius. Yeah. And, uh, the, the same thing happened when Adam Driver pushed Daniel Craig down the trash chute. He's like, just remember, roll. Don't hesitate. Just roll. And uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Daniel Craig lands and he's like, whoa. And he's all mad because it was trash. And then he's like, roll, roll, roll. And then Adam Driver yeah, almost, lands, almost lands, lands on him. him. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it, it just had a lot of little things like that that was really funny. Yeah. So what was it that you didn't understand about the ending? That might be a better way to go through okay, it. Okay, so, so I'll, I'll – I'll explain it the way that I think it went, and you tell me if it's right. Okay. So they they got away with all the money. Yep. Then they gave some of it back, probably like to make it look like it was all returned, because there's no way of them knowing, right? Because they're not even counting this money; it's just going in the shoots. Yeah, I think I would say they gave back ninety percent of it. Okay, and then they keep, let's say, the ten percent. Yep. But the, but now they're they're also at the same time they're cutting. The two brothers out? Mm, not quite. Right? I, I don't believe that they got the money, did they? Well, I think the idea was Daniel Craig is splitting it with them. Okay, so they they had their own plan going that Daniel Craig and his brothers weren't even aware of. Daniel Craig eventually, or we'll say was fine because he got his money back. He had money stashed away while I was in prison. Come to find out his, his girlfriend or whatever dug it up and ran off with another guy. Yeah. So he had no money left. Mm. So they kind of give him that money back and then they have their own money. But so I guess where I get confused is what the, the raceway was, was being shady about it because then they got insurance money back. Right. Or they, they claimed about losing the money and the insurance paid them back, but they got that money back anyways. Yeah. I, this is where I was confused. Yeah. Basically. So I guess r really the insurance companies. The only company that lost money. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the insurance company. Which is probably his original intention anyway, since they wouldn't insure, since it was insurance company that got him laid off in the first place. Yeah, I didn't consider that maybe it was a plan against the insurance company. But so. But they wouldn't be the same insurance companies. Would they? No, that's, yeah, that's why I don't, I'm not really sure if that is what happened. That's probably not. They did mention how NASCAR was basically America, so stealing from NASCAR was like stealing from America. So yeah. maybe that was a part of it. But what happens is they put all the money into the truck, but Channing Tatum sets all this stuff up to get everyone away so he can put some of the money straight in dumpsters that gets taken to a landfill and gets buried. And then he said... You know how, so, uh, this is the part that I felt like the filming or the, the way they edited it kind of fell, fell, failed. Uh, it didn't work very well because it was really hard to tell how much time had passed because it seemed like, oh, where's your brother? And everyone's like, I'm not talking to him. Everyone's mad at him because he gave back the money. Then yeah. all of a sudden he digs up the money. Everyone's happy with him. What happens is there's six months that pass in between that time. Right. He waits six months to dig up the money because 
He said, I stopped paying my phone bill a few months ago and I knew that the FBI would leave it on. He, the FBI would make the phone company leave it on. And as soon as my phone got shut off, cause it was on for an extra six months, they must not be looking at me anymore. And so I knew it was safe to go get the money and go and spread it around. Cause he gives it, he gives it to Adam Driver. He gives it to, uh, everyone who deserves a cut. And I assume the cut that Daniel Craig got, which was the most was so he could split it with his brothers. Oh, okay. So why did they give money to the, uh, the lady at the bank? Uh, I think just because they've ruined her day. Yeah, but she can't just take that money. Uh, she did. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think there, I think it was just like a, cause it was kind of a mean thing they did to her, but it really wasn't. Well, yeah. That, I mean, that mean. I, I don't know. I mean, it was, but like in the grand scheme no, of things of them stealing a bunch of money, it doesn't seem that bad. Like, I mean, like they damaged her car. Yeah. So. I guess that's that. Yeah. I thought the, uh, the mobile clinic was the weird one when he gave money to the girl from the clinic. Yeah. That one I, I didn't really get that one either. Like they start dating and stuff, but it felt, I don't know. It, it felt out of place. Yeah. It seemed kind of unnecessary. Um, but we end up Hillary Swank is at the bar when they're all celebrating together and she is still investigating them. So presumably, yeah, she's still watching them. She was she was not good. No, she was the worst. But uh, uh, luckily, she was only in like the last ten minutes. So yeah. Overall, I think this is a great, great movie. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it was good. There's a lot yeah. of really good moments. Uh, I think it's it's shot really well. It's acted amazingly. I think almost everyone except Hilary Swank did an outstanding job. No one felt, no one felt fake. And, uh, no, actually, actually, I did have a slight issue with like, uh, Seth MacFarlane. He, he was weird when I realized it was Seth MacFarlane. Yeah, I don't know. There was, it was something about it I didn't care for. Well, I, it, it wasn't bad, but the first half of the movie, I didn't know it was Seth MacFarlane. Second half of oh, the movie, when I figured it out, it, he really bothered me. Yeah. He he stood out um, a lot. But I mean he was also hardly in it. Yeah, he was barely in it. Same with uh they had Bucky in there too. Oh, was he in it? Yeah, he was the other race car driver. The guy who could only eat yeah, good software. The guy that was the software that was so dumb. <laughs> to, to keep his IOS running smoothly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was Bucky. Yeah. Uh yeah, so that's that's it. Overall, it was a good movie. Yeah. We, uh, That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also, so on Twitter, I had asked if anyone had checked it out and to get what they thought. And that's where Rin had told us when he was saying that he really likes the, uh, uh, scene where Adam Driver drives into the convenience store. But also, yeah. also Macintosh and Mod oh. said Logan Lucky was one of their favorite movies last year. Uh, uh-huh. when it was over, they instantly wanted to watch it again. Daniel Craig is hilarious. Should do more comedies and Adam, Adam Driver deserves more credit as an actor, which, uh, Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm totally in agreement with that. Uh, yeah, he's definitely pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think of, there was another movie that he was in that was a comedy with Jason Bateman. He was Jason Bateman's brother. Mm. Uh, and he was really good in that. Do you do you know what I'm talking about? No, it was like I thought maybe he, a couple years ago. I thought he was in. Uh, what's? Yes, it was him in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, he was in Star Wars, but I thought he was in. Uh, what's that female comedian that everyone seems to hate? Uh, Amy Schumer. Yeah, I th- that's who I hate. I thought he was in a movie <laughs> with her. Uh, he might have been. I don't know. I don't watch her movies. Um. I know he was in that show with that other one that nobody likes, Lena Dunham. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Uh, girls. Mm-hmm. Oh, that lady's awful. <laughs> uh, 
Um, no, I don't. It was a movie about Jason Bateman and their dad died and they all came back. Oh, oh man. Uh, Tina Fey's in it. Is that what you're talking about? I think so. Uh, but maybe not. I'll find it right now. Hold on. Uh, Zootopia. <laughs> no, where is it? This is where I leave you. Was he in there? Oh, that was, that was 2014. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah, you're right. It, it is Tina Fey, though. But yeah, he's in she, that movie. She uh, doesn't that look was a pretty like funny movie. herself in it, though. Tina Fey? Yeah, she doesn't really... She, something about her looks very different. It took me like half the movie to recognize who she was. She's not wearing glasses? Maybe. But uh, yeah, no, that's a good movie, too. Adam Driver... Uh, he, he's, he's a good actor. He was a Marine, and uh, yeah. Yeah. I think he got into acting during his time in the Marines. I don't know. That could be... Not true. Maybe oh, he was really? into it before, but uh, afterwards he got into acting, and he's he's solid in everything I've seen him in, at least. Yeah, I've I've I think he got a, I think he got a lot of flack for Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens. Well, he's the best part of both of those movies. Uh, I don't know if he's the best part of the first one. I think Ray. I liked Ray in the first one better, but then in the second one, I think they. They flipped. Yeah. I don't know. I, I still think, I think Kylo Ren is more interesting than both. Uh, he, he, uh, he's interesting for sure. But no, Adam Driver is a good actor. Yeah. Um, stamp of approval. Stamped. Done. <laughs> Approved. Well, yeah. So, uh, we will be back in a couple of days with our next episode that is on the week of. Which is a much worse movie, and uh, much much I worse. highly don't recommend it. Would say avoid it if at all possible. But if you're curious oh, about so our, bad. our thoughts on it, beyond that it's terrible, you can uh, go right now over to Patreon and for a dollar get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. And uh, mm-hmm. since that's the next one coming up, you'll be able to listen to that right away. Oh yeah, and we just want to say thank you to our sponsors, Boss Play. Follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod and like us on Facebook. Thanks.